Good afternoon. It is 3.08 p.m. on March 8, 2013. This is a Friday afternoon. I'm coming to you live from Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, I am breaking in some news to let you know that I will be seeking Kentucky's next governor's seat and basically this is the reasoning why and some of my ideas to pass along to you it is time we do away with car taxes that's paid every single year on a car that is losing value and they don't give you credit for that you can say how much you think your car is worth you have to go get it estimated and everything else they go by Blue Book Values, Kenny, uh, Kelly Blue Book Value, Black Book Value, and I uh, forgot the other one, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Also, I'd like to bring teacher salaries to the uh, rate that they deserve to be paid. They are producing children that uh, will be our next leaders, our next uh, operators, our next doctors, lawyers, so on and so forth. Also, uh, would like to make property taxes across the board fair enough to where you can afford them. Also, I would like to reduce Kentucky's county ship by the 120 standard counties we have now to 60. There will be counties combining together. The bigger, the biggest of the county next door to you will consume the smaller county next door. And if necessary, we will combine two to three counties together because of their size. That will cut down on people that will be in office, a waste of salaries, and a waste of, uh, you know, everything else. There would be a, new, a whole brand new elections created in 2015. And basically, I would fix it to where elections were only held for county, city, and state offices every 10 years instead of every two to four. That means that a, when a senator is elected to office, he will be he or she will be serving for 10 full years, same as a city councilman, a city mayor, a county judge executive, a county magistrate. And we will also en enroll into the, we will change Kentucky's amendment process to referendum pro process. That way that uh, the citizens have, would have more say in their uh, state and local governments. The other thing that makes me a little bit upset is the, the uh, you know, Tennessee only how you pay for your tag it's your tag for your the rest of your life you get to keep it you don't have to turn it back in there's a lot of tags out there that is wasted and you know I learned some things from Tennessee what time I was living down there so here's my ideas I would like to also see a representative board placed in to, that only not only would go out and code inspect they would go out and basically inspect older buildings to see how good a value that they are and if they're not of a good value they will be torn down or destroyed and the tax uh, loopholes uh, basically as a loss of property or uh, whatever you know you can get by with um, can get done away with next of all uh, my also, I will only ask for one term because I think I can get all of this done in one four year period and if I do, if the citizens want me back, they will ask me to rerun and I will do what the citizens ask. It's time that the citizens have more of a voice in Frankfurt, their local state houses, their local uh, courthouses, their local city houses and their own representatives. If we have, if we enact, and there is going to be some executive orders that I will sign into law that will make Kentucky run just to smooth the silk. 
I think that we need to uh, basically get Kentucky back on top where it deserves to be. Not only that, but we're going to change how politics is run here in Kentucky. If you have been in office more than 20 years of your consecutive life, you, you, could, you will be asked to step aside and let somebody else run for office because it is, it's called term limits. I believe in them. I believe in them so wholeheartedly. So I'm going to ask that those people, such as Mitch McConnell and a few others, that have been there their whole lives, to come back home, set a spell, and set under the laws that they created. so that they can be able enough to be heard from. It makes me sick. It really makes me earthly sick to see what goes on in this state. The horse industry used to be a top-notch thing that Kentucky enjoyed. I heard from a lady this past fall that I had to leave Kentucky because there was no jobs here for her, but yet other people were finding them every day of the week. You know, it's time we bring in gasification plants on how to run our state, our courthouses, our cars, and our homes on better uh, resources than what's been done now. It's time we put a consortium in place to basically make sure that utility bills are kept at a minimum and no up and down bills. I have heard from so many people that their power bills goes from three to five hundred dollars and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, they never know where they're coming or going. So here's my deal. And here's the only deal that I'm willing to work. All state utilities, including trash, water, gas, electricity, and any other utility, will be set at a fair rate till everybody can afford it. Deposits will be run at a minimum, regardless to how many utilities you've had in your name in the past, those will be wiped clean. Only thing I can tell you at this point in time is it's time Kentucky become a better state. We need to be on the top of the map and not the bottom of the map. Therefore, I will sign in the first day in office. I will, after everything, all the popping circumstance and all the, the governor's balls are over with, I will sign an executive order to destroying all textbooks that is being put out in public schools today and we will go back to teaching the value of an education. The basics. Because we are producing children now that basically the public school system are wronging their students, sending them out in the world not prepared very well and I think it's a shame. I think it's a disgrace to not only the teacher that teaches that class, but the principal, the superintendent, and so on and so forth. So I'm telling you today, teachers, you better listen up and listen up clearly because I will ask that a teacher that I knew from my youth be brought to run as my my uh, lieutenant governor. She will be treated like a queen in this state. I will be the first of Kentucky's kind and I will be Kentucky's first governor that would have ever served a term without a wife as I know of. 
we need better teachers, we need better school systems, and we need better people running them. And as like I said, we are going to reduce how many counties that is in this state in order to save money. That means so many representatives that will be losing their positions in Frankfurt will be sent right back home to where they come from. There will be some that will be kept here and it's up to the people to uh, basically tell how uh, they want these people to be run. There will be town hall meetings conducted in each county over the next four years if I'm elected. And I will only ask for one term, but if the citizens decide that I have done a good enough job there will be a, uh, before I leave office, there will be a uh, ballot measure and every county will be, uh, their polls will be open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. If they, if they see to see me to ask for a second term, they will, they will make their voices well heard. I also will put coal jobs back in force and also coal, we will ask that the United States government remove the EPA uh, laws that was placed on the books to hurt coal miners of Kentucky surrounding other states as well and put those coal miners back to work where they belong. Yes we will also include better ways of mining coal. We will do a study that will you know be able enough to handle Kentucky and be able enough to understand Kentucky for its full value. I also will make Kentucky one of the fairest states to do business in. We need a fashion house in Kentucky to brought to not only with our quilts that we can make here in Kentucky, we need to also bring together some people that can also bring Kentucky some change that's been needed done for years. Kentucky deserves the best and the best they shall get. I am asking that any person that has a desire to design clothing, furniture, whatever it is, even uh, buildings, to come forth let your services be known. We will use you to the fullest max. We will have people from California, New York, Milan, and other places come to here to see our clothing put on display. We will also have a floral design school, a uh, house uh, design school, uh, in place in several start parts of the state to start with and we will also I would I want to tell the the universities and the, the community colleges and the colleges as a whole a person that is trying to succeed in life should not have a debt hanging over their head for many years to come just because that you want a higher salary or a higher institution rate I will ask the Board of Regents to go throughout this state and to cross classes wisely and to do what is right by our students that are leaving high school that has no clue that when they get out of college that they're going to have a two to three hundred to four hundred thousand dollar college tuition debt that has to be paid. A price of an education shouldn't come at a price of a, a leg, an arm, or so on and so forth. As a, as a person that I used to know from my youth in eastern Kentucky, he can't get blood out of a term. And a person has to, you know, work seven or eight jobs in order to pay off a student debt is wrong. If they're willing to stay in the state of Kentucky to do business, use their education to help other people, then we should lower their rates of education. Also, 
Textiles. We need more textile plants in Kentucky. I will seek for it to bring uh, textile industries to Kentucky. And also we need more people that are willing to uh, garden and sell vegetables. We need more farmers markets across the, the state. We need more people to uh, help raise um, other groups of uh, animals to produce to keep everybody safe from being poisoned in food wise. And we also need more areas to grow vegetables in in this state in order to make sure that each person has a adequate eating rate. And in uh, the last part of my broadcast today I want to see Kentuckians progress to the next level of their life. I will bring four funeral schools to Kentucky because as uh, the baby boomer generation and my generation begins to die, which death is no perspective of persons or ages, wealth or status, We need more people to be educated so that they can be able to uh, go out and do what the work of embalming, funeral directing, and other stuff in this state. Which brings me to the floral design schools that we will need. I'd like to see the first ever Kentucky casket plant created here. Uh, and also the uh, enacting of um, plots for, you know, private plots to be created in this state that people can go to and meditate, clear their minds, be able to be a well of worth uh, to the place that they work. And I would order all people to have time that they can go and enjoy life a little better during their work day. If they go out and just walk the grounds of their property wherever they work at for about 30 or 45 minutes to clear their head. What's the harm in doing that? It would actually make them a little better productive. And I would ask that the um, we would have a renting czar that would go along and basically uh, see about what rent should be charged to properties instead of people telling how much that their properties that they think their rent should be. We need to uh, enact ways of letting people know that this is what rent is. And be able enough to honestly charge the best price for the money for the person. And rent should be charged upon a person's income status, not just what they can, what you want them to pay. And I am asking the, the legislators to vote in a policy that if you take money from a disabled person as an application fee, and then once it today uh, find a better place to go to and you still withhold that application fee, I believe that that should is theft by deception of services. So therefore that it needs to be straightened out. So I'm asking that to be done. Because taking money from a disabled person, even though that you you think that you can get that thirty or twenty five or forty dollars for an application fee, if they have, if, uh, if they get denied by Section 8 or public housing, uh, I think that uh, that application fees and money should be returned to those people regardless of what cost it costed you. I know some landlords will get mad at me for saying this, but I think that they, uh, the, the poorest of the poor should not be picked over and picked at. And I think apartments should be kept clean, and I also think that apartments should be kept in a certain uh, condition and also a certain percentage rate of uh, how much that they can be charged. I wish you a best of a good weekend to come. If you uh, can, get out and go be in the house of the Lord this Sunday. I will broadcast again on Monday. And I do wish that you have a good weekend and hope that you can be returning back to us on Monday for our normal broadcast times at one o'clock. And also the TV cable industry will be uh, doing some changes as well. 
to fit the person's budget and money. And also, there should be other opportunities to choose whichever cable provider. They should be at least two to three cable providers per county. That way that you can pick the best out of their, what they all have to offer. If they offer all three things, cable, phone, and internet with all the packages included, I think that you have a right to choose which company you do business with and get a deduction if you're on the, low, on the lower totem pole of the income. So I am leaving this with you and hope that you do elect me your next governor. I will be the one in the I will be one of the most unique governors you have ever ha have elected. And I want to put Kentucky back on top. If there are shortcuts needs to be made to uh, get people around in this state, let's do it. I leave with li this with you, and I do wish you a good evening and a good weekend. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America, and may God bless those people that are serving us overseas. May they return home safe and sound, and may God bless the state of Kentucky.